here's a real quick video going over another new feature of Final Cut. Um, you can now burn Blu-ray discs with Final Cut Pro. No, you can't do it in DVD Studio Pro. I'm not for sure why, but I've heard things that like actually, I'm not sure if it's true, but I've heard DVD Studio Pro actually isn't capable because it's a DVD authoring app, not a Blu-ray authoring app. And when you want to get into making custom menus, custom backgrounds, custom transitions, and the way that you can view content on Blu-rays during the movie and stuff, I'm just not sure if DVD Studio Pro has that capability. It might have it, or it might be just too much to implement. So they figured it would be just best to implement it in Final Cut Pro and Compressor because you can, um, you can handle Blu-ray from either application now. Um, Apple don't sell Blu-rays in their machines so I figure that's one reason why they didn't include it in DVD Studio Pro they don't author blu-rays they author DVDs at Apple they don't support blu-ray they don't they support it but they don't sell the blu-ray players and you know it might have a lot to do with them having iTunes they sell downloads they don't want to shoot themselves in the foot by offering you know high definition blu-ray players in their computers if people want HD on their machines they go to iTunes you know I don't know if it has anything to do with it or not but they have included the capability whether it's with DVD Studio Pro or not um, granted if it was in DVD Studio Pro you'd be able to make custom menus and stuff like I say but it's called DVD Studio Pro not blu-ray Studio Pro go out and find a blu-ray authoring app that actually lets you you know, create custom content, custom backgrounds, custom templates and transitions and see what it costs. I'm not sure. I don't even know if there's applications out there yet. Apps like Toast will burn a Blu-ray, but they use pre-built templates. I'm talking about making a completely custom Blu-ray. So I don't know how that works. But the bottom line is we can do it now from within Final Cut Studio. I have a little clip here down in my timeline. As you can see, there's a new option under the file menu called Share. Okay, so I'm going to select my timeline here. Go up to file, select share. Now this brings up my little share box, okay? Now you can choose a destination and you can click this and use all your little share options, which is H QuickTime H264, Apple ProRes, you can do it to YouTube, just like you can compressor and it will upload it straight to YouTube for you like iMovie does. But there's a Blu-ray option. And if you select Blu-ray option, it'll let us burn a Blu-ray file. Now if we've done it here, without checking this create blu-ray disc it would burn a blu-ray compatible file which meaning it would make this movie into a file that I could take into a third-party application like toast and make a blu-ray disc with it but if I want to make my disc blu-ray disc from right within Final Cut Studio and you have a blu-ray burner installed in your Mac just click create blu-ray disc now if you come over here it'll ask you for your output device your disc template the title of your disc what you want it to do when the disc loads you want it to play the movie directly or show the menu um, you can have um, include loop men movie buttons you can loop it you can add your own custom background here if you have a picture you want to add in you can't actually go in like DVD Studio Pro and make custom menus and custom paths and you click this button to go here and you can click this button and connect online you know that's really in-depth stuff but here we got the basic stuff if you have a logo or a graphic you've made in motion and you want to add it you can click the add button same way with title graphics so you can add titles logos and backgrounds but that's about as custom as you're gonna get um, here's the main menu and here's the chapter menu you can see if you have a custom background in there custom texts and stuff that's it so basically you set up how you want it and you burn your blu-ray disc right inside Final Cut Pro people wanted it people hollered for it now it's here I myself don't have a need for Blu-ray for anywhere except the living room for my HD TV. I like to have HD content in my living room when I'm watching family family TV with the family. But as far as HD content for my computer and delivery for my projects and and showing my projects to other people, it just Blu-ray is just not the way to go. It's all online now. I'll upload it to a server or and share it that way. Um, I'll deliver my content to somebody most of the time through an online service or something. Blu-ray, I only use it to watch movies in my living room. It's not a really good distribution content for me because it's so expensive, the discs and stuff. I just assume upload it to a server and be done with it. So that's how you burn a Blu-ray straight inside of Final Cut Pro. Not hard. Anybody could have figured it out. But I'm going over these little features one by one and we'll check this one off the list. See you next time.